Well, it's time to play. And I want to kind of start out with the fact that I really appreciate everyone who's subscribed and who has commented and who have hit like on our on our videos. They've they've really allowed the videos to get out to a, a fairly broad audience, much better than than I expected when I started this channel. And so kudos to all of you for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll just keep providing good content that people like to watch and people like to stay with. I'm learning as I go, learning various concepts as I go, and sharing those concepts as I learn them. I am fascinated by building games, I'm especially fascinated by managing product and managing output and managing a production line. So uh, let me show you what I've done and show you what I'm up to next. So let's uh, go down to the next floor down in my factory. Okay, so I'm going to just climb up here on this rock. That'll let me see a little bit. What you see is several rows of factory. It's just cranking things out. We've got five constructors on the left, five constructors on the right. They're taking ingots, and these ingots are being turned into rods at this point. Now, if I go around here, you'll see that I have eight smelters in a row. And those eight smelters are producing ingots and sending them down a common line and straight into the storage containers that I have. Now, what's happened here is it's backed up. These 816 smelters are cranking it out faster than my rods here are consuming it. Well, that's okay because I want to also have the next line, which is gonna be for iron plate. So I'm going to go ahead and build that line here to show you what I'm doing. And I started with creating a blueprint. I, I blueprinted this so I could build it fairly quick. So let's go look at the blueprints. Constructors with the splitters in the center or constructors with the mergers in the center. So it's a set of eight constructors, four on each side. What we wanted to do is have the combiners outside and the splitters inside. So it's this one that I want to do. The challenge is going to be to get it placed. Okay, I wanna be on this, this outside here so I can kind of see how I'm lining things up. And bang, right like that. And so all of these things are put down all at once. I don't have the outside parts over here and the outside parts I can put right down this line. And we want mergers on the outside that are gonna merge and send it back. So it'll go up the line and we wanna line that merger up with that machine. I got the green line there. Okay, once I have the green line, I can set it right down. I'm gonna back up a little bit until I get the green line going left. And green line again. Okay. And not scooching it a little bit closer than I like, but that'll work. Okay, have both lines there. Good, 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 good. And why did I lose my line? Yeah, they're still in line, but I'm not getting the, the line going to and from. That's probably okay, because I know where I'm putting them. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put the conveyor belts between those. Um, so that's what I'll do now and putting the conveyor belts between. Oh dear, that got, I didn't configure it right. All right, let's try again. There we go, we got them on both corners. All right. Yeah, they're lined up right. Now did I get the merger? Did I get the... Nope. Oops. Merger's there. Didn't pay attention right. A little too excited to get started too quick. Oh, 
one thing I've noticed with the uh, with the jetpack is I jump way too high. I need to learn to tap it, I guess. Okay. Looks like they're all set up. Now I should be able to. And what is that sitting out in the middle of the floor for? Okay. Okay, so now I need to feed the line straight into this middle one right there. I'll do that simply by pulling a line coming from the containers over here that have the ingots in it. Okay, I've got one line going up and over there. I might try getting a splitter off of that instead. Okay, we're going to take a temporary detour here. Let me go ahead and put the splitter right there and a conveyor there. Now I'll deconstruct this, reconstruct it there. And now what I need to do is I need to just take... While I like to go straight into it, I think I'm going to back off and bring it down one level here so I can still walk under it and now bring it down into there. And we're going to make iron plates. So the hardest part about this is once you have it blueprinted and it becomes very easy to get things set up. It's just a mechanical click here, click there. So get that started and click here, click there and get that started. The nice thing about these Mark II poles is you can string seven lines off of them. And what I've been doing is I've been creating a storage unit area for each of these lines. And that allows me to create a buffer, at least for the, my end of my lines, because you can see the rods going into those storage units there. There were a bunch of storage units there that I pulled the line from over there for ingots. And so lots of product going here, there, and everywhere. Let's uh, start building those storage units. Put them lined up and lined up and lined up and then put that in place. Plates are going in that one. Plates are going in that one. All right. Now I just have to take the Audi to the any, and the Audi to the any, Audi to the any, Audi to the any, any, Audi to the any, Audi to the any, and that's the last stop there. So if everything's connected right, I should be able to see. Yep. It's coming into that last one. So it means it's going through all of them. It'll fill up the last one, then the next to last, then the next to last. I've got iron plate below here. So the next step is I, I need to take iron rod and turn it into screws. Now I'm gonna perform the same exact operation the next time. Realistically, you've seen everything. You've seen the whole operation. I'll continue to build out this section of factory. I've got a whole place over here that I can start building the next row of machines. I'm probably going to start put the screw machines over here and then take the iron rods that are in the storage units right in the center of the building under that crate sign. Take the, the rods from there, go straight into the screw factory that I'll build there. And I'm going to start labeling each of these sets of containers so that they will be marked as to what to do. And if I start getting a situation where I've got more being taken from them than being put in them so that I, I have a, developed a storage and my storage gets depleted, I will go ahead and increase production lines in certain areas and keep working to balance each of those lines. That's one reason why I left a good bit of room between this set and that set so I have room to either expand the far one forward towards that rock or expand this one forward out this direction towards whatever I place on the other opposite end. The whole idea is I want to create a much more organized factory 
than what I've done before with one machine going into one machine going into one machine and actually create a factory that has some buffer load in between them to make sure that the next set of machines are fed properly. You can see that my plate manufacturers are a little bit already a little bit backed up, meaning that the line stops occasionally and that's good, but it's running most of the time, which means I still have some more capacity for using ingots. All of these machines are green. I got a couple yellow machines over there. It looks like I could bring in more iron ore to that line and fill that line up and make sure it keeps feeding the factory at maximum capacity. And since that's the very first section, that's kind of what I want to do is I want to make sure that that one, because it's the first set of factories, is completely full so I can keep maximizing the production of ingots out from there. I might go there and find out that because the ingots are not being taken as fast as it can produce, it might be stalled, not because of input, but because of output being stalled. So we'll keep on working. Now, the main goal here is to complete the phase three objective for the space elevator. So I need the manifold engine and I need that other thing. So we're, right now I'm working on the manifold engine getting all the pieces and parts it needs to fill up the manifold engine. I'm gonna call it a video at this point, and if you see some value in this, please hit that like button. Please comment if you'd like to help me improve what I'm doing. I've listened to your comments, and really it's helped me advance a lot faster when you comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I could do better. I really appreciate that. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll look forward to seeing you later. Thanks.